Hi guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me today. And our craft from our May the 4th Be With You kit for today is our Alien Planet craft. So in your big kit with all our May the 4th Be With You goodies, you will find a Ziploc bag with a wooden disc like this. Now mine's already painted. Yours should just be a, a plain wooden disc. You'll find a Ziploc bag with a wooden disc in it two little cups of paint, one gray and one black, and it should also have a piece of black cardstock in there as well. So grab that. So the first thing you wanna do for your alien planet, now just know if you've got other paints and you wanna paint it a different color, you can definitely do that. This is your alien planet, create it however you want. But I'm gonna show you how I created mine. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna paint your disc gray. So I've already done that. So I grabbed my gray paint like it's in your kit and I painted it gray. It needed just a, a couple of hours to dry because you had to do the front and the back and the sides. But like I said, if you wanted to paint it a different color and you've got extra paint, feel free to do so. But I went ahead and painted my disc gray. So the next thing I'm gonna do, now that my disc is all painted gray and all dry, I'm going to add a little black to my disc to make my alien planet kind of dark and spooky. So in your kit, you have black paint, but if you don't want to use the black paint and you want it to be a little bit more quick drying, that is okay too. You can actually use a black magic marker. If you've got a permanent magic marker or a washable marker, either one will work. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, create your alien planet with your black magic marker, but you've got paint and you can do just the same thing that I'm going to do with this marker. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a big black line with my paint or my magic marker down the middle of my planet. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna draw a big black line down the center of it. And if it's not a perfect black line, do not worry about it because Miss Leslie is not perfect with her lines at all. So no worries on that end. This is your planet, your creation. You make it however you want. So I have created my big black line with my magic marker. You've got paint, so feel free to use the paint. If you don't want to wait to let it dry, you can always use that magic marker. So I created a big black line down the middle. Now to get my alien planet a little bit darker, I'm going to add some more black marks on there. So I'm going to start doing that and I'm going to show you how I did it. But you've got the paint, so you can take a paintbrush, a small paintbrush, or a toothpick, and you can dip it in your paint, and you can make those black marks all yourself. But I will show you how I'm doing it. I'm making some a little more uniform than others. You can hear me coloring in on here. But the good thing about these little discs is you can use the marker on it if you don't want to wait for the paint to dry. That is no worries at all. But I've put paint in there so you can make it however you want. So let me get finished here. And one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to have a circle on your planet. So you're gonna want to, before you get all this gray filled in, you're gonna wanna cut a circle out of your black cardstock. A nice size circle, but small enough to sit on your planet. So you don't wanna fill in your planet with all those black marks. You wanna leave enough for your circle. And I should have said that earlier and I apologize for that. But that is completely up to you. This is your alien planet, so you can create it however you want. I will show you. Let me finish getting these in. So those are my marks, but you can make whatever you want on yours. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out a small black circle. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Just kind of like this. Just small enough to fit on my planet because you do have a small planet here. I'm going to put a tad bit of glue on there.
and I'm going to glue it down on my alien planet. And I'm going to add, once I get that circle on there, I can see I can add a few more marks on there. And voila, that is your alien planet. And like I said, you can make it any way you want. Just, just make sure you leave that little spot up there for your circle. I almost forgot all about that, guys. But if you want to paint it a different color, if you want to add different markings to it, it is your alien planet, so create it however you want. But this is how you make your own alien planet from a few simple items like some paint, a little bit of glue, some black cardstock or construction paper, and a little bitty wooden disc. You could even use a paper plate to create one of these as well. But like I always tell you guys, anytime you create any of the crafts that we do, whether it's in a regular program or in our special kits, we love it when you share those photos with us. So thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed creating your alien planet, and have a great week, guys.